video, we are gonna try to run Poughkeepsie Gulch, which is supposed to be the hardest trail out here. So stick around and see if I can get a Jeep Grand Cherokee Trailhawk through this. Um, joining us today, in case we need some backup and we fail miserably, we've got two Rubicon Wranglers with us, which should provide ample um, assistance should we need it. So we, we, we are trying to be safe and intelligent about this. Anyway, let's get going. If you've been following us for a while, you know that we tend to take on trails that maybe we have no business trying or attempting. But I've honestly always operated under the principle that I would rather try something and fail than not try at all. Personally, I've found that I'm often surprised at the things that we can accomplish on the trails and off the trails when we're willing to just try and when we're okay with failing. The reason I bring this up is because I knew heading out onto this trail that we were going to face an obstacle called the wall. I also knew that I'd never seen a Grand Cherokee even attempt it in our platform with our configurations and for sure most of the videos I've seen of this has Wranglers struggling to get up. So we were definitely kind of a strong underdog when it came to tackling the wall. In fact, before heading out on this trail, we actually thought it was closed based on what we saw online, but we saw a National Forest Ranger who, when I asked about it, looked at my Jeep and kind of said, yeah, it's open, but I hear it's really rough. You can have a little adventure here, man. <laughs> a little adventure. We are to the difficult section of Oh, Kipsy. Oh, Kipsy Gulch. And we're watching some people struggle up ahead, and I don't think that's boosting anybody's confidence. No, not even a little bit. You know what's not boosting my confidence? That sign. That sign? Yeah, let's look at that sign. So there in the distance are some folks kind of struggling to get up. Here in the foreground, we have our experienced drivers only, modified rigs, extreme road conditions. Go check it out. You gonna go yeah, driver? Now do you wanna put both wheels up on that rock? So Alright guys, we made it to the wall section of Poughkeepsie Gulch. Apparently this is the main the main show, the main deal. Took the harder line up. So we're gonna go check it out, walk it, see what it looks like. Alright, so we scoped the lines. There's like a line here to the far left. There's the one in the middle and then one on the far right. We're gonna try to aim far right. It's a little bit difficult to see from this angle, but there's actually like a, a very small hill climb before you actually get to the wall. And um, our first run up, we actually got high centered with the line I took. So I had to back up and kind of take a little bit of a different angle even just to get to the wall. Nice. Okay, that looks good. That line looks good.
one of the reasons we picked a far right line here was because we were trying to stay out of that center of V. I knew I didn't have the articulation needed that if I happened to slip into that, that I could accommodate that. My main concern was kind of staying out of that V so that we didn't flop on our side. So a couple of things happened here with my first attempt. Number one, I was in rock mode and I could actually feel the engine kind of cut power or traction or something like that kind of cut out on me. I did switch to mud mode um, to try to access more of that throttle, but by then I had lost my momentum. Interestingly enough, as I back up here, you're gonna see me kind of stop and then just slide backwards. My brakes actually went out at that point. I had my foot down to the floor and Still, we just skidded back. Okay, you're good. Okay, stop. Now, driver. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't back up anymore. Don't. Slipping. Okay. So back up. You're out of the slot. So back up. Go ahead and get that tire on. You're out of the slot still. If it'll crash, catch. Yeah. Yeah, you can go forward and then turn driver. So I knew immediately after we actually got our front tires over that first ledge and then I could hear our rock rails catch that we were high centered on both sides. Um, we had already prepped the winch knowing that this was a possibility and what you're about to see and hear is definitely the worst sounding winch recovery that I have ever been a part of. And Keep in mind the audio from this was being recorded from a camera probably about 10 feet away. Right tire's back. There you go. There you go. Right tire. Yeah, right tire spin it or Yeah, I mean your back tire's up, dude. And your right tire, your left tire's on, your right tire's spinning now. I, I, I don't know, you're almost done. There you go. Come on, a little more. Little almost, almost, almost. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. There it is. There you go. Got it. We certainly have been in situations where we hit rock rails or transmission plates and, and scratched and scuffed and bent the plates on our bottom. But this was the first time where I, I was literally dragging the entire weight of the Jeep from essentially right behind my front wheels all the way back to my back wheels. Um, if you could see there but we had zero traction basically on front and back for the majority of that pool once we were safely out of the way of some other folks trying to attempt it was time to kind of get out of the jeep crawl up under there and check out the damage and guys as just a huge testament to uh, chief products and the under armor that we have under our jeep man i could see the scratches but but we had no significant damage Driver, 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 driver,
So here we have Kevin. Kevin is one of David's good friends that actually drove out just for a few days from California. But it, uh, his rig, he's got a three and a half inch lift and 37 inch tires. Um, it took us a while to really kind of get him on the right line. Um, his back end kept kind of slipping into that V wedge and, and he would get hung up. Once you make it up the wall of Poughkeepsie Gulch, you're not quite out of the woods yet. Um, there is still quite a few climbs, off-camber situations that, that you have to kind of take your time through, maybe get out and spot, but not on the level of the wall. Just keep in mind that you can bypass this whole section if you'd like to do the gulch, but you don't want to do these obstacles.
All right, thoughts on Poughkeepsie Gulch. Kevin, so, come on over here, man. So we've got a, the 37 inch, three and a half lift, 35, two inch lift, stock air suspension, and 31.5 inch, I might be creeping to a 32 inch tire. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I gotta say, I'm the only one that made it up. The, oh, oh yeah, I, sorry, I had to do that. Yeah, it's fine, but it's fine. That's because of my inexperience with, I think with, with helping Kevin, but as far as you go, as far as he goes, yeah. what did that sound like? It was bad. It sounded like a sperm whale giving birth and having a C-section all at the same time. It was definitely the worst sounding winching that I've experienced. It sounded like. <laughs> it was. Yeah. It was like that movie that you want to hear the worst sound in the world. Yeah. Yeah. It sounded like a Catholic nun. <laughs> <laughs> and scratching her nails on the, on the chalkboard, chalkboard. Yeah. on the chalkboard yeah it was bad and it just it kept going and i like i knew that we might have to winch based on the videos i've seen and i knew the ground clearance and my breakover angle was going to be an issue so we set it up we had the saw shackle on i had it in free spool knowing and we hit the line i wanted to hit but still you were there man yeah. and i'm telling you he was there he was yeah, right really there. close he was right there and, it, and then and the crowd had gathered i got footage of the crowd and they all went oh. <laughs> and then you know they they heard <laughs> and they went oh all right how about as far as you guys that was a pucker factor for me it was yeah that was that was pretty difficult for, for just being you know <laughs> a trail out here that's like you said definitely the hardest trail Yes. That we've done hardest here. trail in the Old Ray Silverton area. Yeah. Not the hardest trail we've ever done, but Silverton area. Yeah. Um, like that was a pretty legit obstacle. And that obstacle is one, definitely yeah. one of the top obstacles I've yeah. ever done for sure. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and definitely, um, yeah, people should have experience yes. coming out. Yes, yeah. or definitely a winch. And they tell you right up front, lockers and a winch. So I had to use the winch and a spot and a really good spotter. Yeah, and a spotter that knows um, for sure. Yeah, cool. but, but but it was fun. It was fun. It was, fun. It was yeah. really fun. Yeah, it was really fun. Yeah. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you're brand new to this channel or if you've been watching us a while and you're not yet a subscriber, consider hitting that subscribe button. Hit that bell if you want to be notified. Give us a thumbs up and I will leave you with that joyful sounding recovery. Yeah, right tire spinning or yeah, I mean your back tire's up, dude. And your right tire, your left tire's on, your right tire's spinning now. I, I, I don't know, you're almost done. There you go. Come on, a little more. Little almost, almost, almost. There it is.